Click, click, click in the book of Acts. Simon the Sorcerer. Whoa, 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 not Simon the Sorcerer. It's Simon the Sorcerer, you know, like a wizard. Someone that uses magic, not a pirangan copy. Okay, I'll try that again. Here we go. Click, click, click in the book of Acts. Simon the Sorcerer misunderstood the fact. At first intrigued, and he sort of believed. But sadly, he had the wrong end of the stick. So Simon wasn't really with it. He tried to pay for the Holy Spirit. Stop, stop right there. Did you say Simon tried to buy the Holy Spirit? Doesn't he know that Mr. Holy Spirit is a helper from God? It's a free gift and he is not for sale. Exactly. The disciples were not happy with this. They said, may your money perish with you. How can you think you can buy the gift of God with money? So they said, repent and pray that God will forgive you. You are full of wickedness and sin. Simon was staggered and asked, please pray for me that none of these things will happen to me. Well, how's it Christchurch Hermanus fam? And as you saw in our little song before, we are talking about Simon Magnus. Now, Simon Magnus in Acts was a magician and they did magic tricks like this. Man, that guitar is very good. Looking. Well, that's just a bit of fancy editing. Now, Simon was known for showing cool magic tricks, but when he saw the divine power that God had given the disciples, he wanted to know more. But you can't buy the gift of God. You see, he said to them, Gimme, gimme, gimme! He wanted their power. He wanted it so badly that he was willing to pay the disciples. And that was how the magicians operated back during those days. What they used to do is they used to share and trade secrets for money. But when he tried to pay for it, that showed that his heart was far away from God. Why? Because you can't buy the gift of God with money. Now the disciples were horrified. They were absolutely horrified. Here is this magician that thinks he can buy the gift of God. So they tell him to repent and ask God to forgive you. Why? Because you can't buy the gift of God. Now two amazing gifts that we get as Christians is first the cross where Jesus died for us. Secondly is the Holy Spirit or Mr. Holy Spirit who walks with us and points us towards God. These are things that God gives us. They are not things you can buy. Now Simon did not have to give money to be part of God's family. All he had to do was ask Jesus to be his savior. Why? Because you can't buy the gift of God with money. This beautiful gift of being in God's family is something that comes for free. You can't buy the gift of God, but you can ask Jesus to be your savior. Won't you pray with me now? Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for the wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray for those who make the same mistake as Simon and try to use their money to become part of your family. Lord, we pray that you will forgive them and show them the right way through your Bible and your people. We pray this in your name, Lord. Amen.